here. This is actually take two of the video, so I'm gonna try not to mess this one up again. Um, this is gonna be your workout for Tuesday, so I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, got your week started off on the right foot and got your workout in today. If not, jump in with us on today's workout. We're gonna start off going over the warm up, then we'll move to the pre wide, then we'll move to the workout. So for the warm up, we're gonna start, get you guys new, and you're gonna go out for a two to a three minute jog. Um, if you'd rather stay in place where you're training at for the day, then you can change that up. You can jog in place for two to three minutes, or you can do a combination of like high knees, butt kicks, jumping jacks. Maybe do like 20, 30 seconds of each of those um, for two to three minutes, okay? Then you're gonna go into 10 leg swings. You're gonna go 10 leg swings front to back, each leg, 10 leg swings side to side, each leg. You can use whatever you have around you for balance. Um, then you're gonna do 10 sumo walk around. So find that wide stance. Grab them onto the ankle here. We're gonna walk out over is one, back is two, until you've done 10 of those, okay? Kind of nice and slow, you should feel that in the hamstrings. Then you're gonna go 10 Samson stretch lunge. That's gonna be five on each leg. Looking for a three to five second hold in the bottom, so locking the fingers overhead. We're gonna lunge out. Try not to let your uh, middle midline here uh, go into extension. We're gonna pull everything tight. Try to drive through that knee that's on the ground to get a nice stretch. Hold that for three to five seconds. And then switch legs and do it on the other side, okay? Once you've done that, you've got two rounds of 10 air squats five internals with one push-up, a 30-second plank, and then 10 line hops. On those hops, we're just hopping side to side. Think uh, less of going just live up here and more of a bound where you're really warming up those ankles for the box jumps, okay? You're gonna go through that two times, okay? Then your pre-wide stuff for today, you guys have three to four sets. You're gonna do 10 on each side. You can use a dumbbell, kettlebell, or a barbell for upright rows. So if you're using a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you're going to go up, pull the elbow as high as you can get it, lower it back down, slower than you went up. You'll do 10 each arm, and then switch. If you use a barbell, you're gonna hold the barbell with both hands, pull up, lower it back down. You'll just do a total of 10 there. Once you finish that, you've got 10 king squats. Again, using a dumbbell, kettlebell, or barbell. If you Use a dumbbell or a kettlebell or a barbell. It's gonna be on the back here. You can also just do these without any load at all. But a king squat is gonna be a good morning into a squat, into a good morning, into standing all the way back up, okay? Um, and then you've got five to 10 handstand push-ups, okay? Um, if you don't quite have those yet, there's some different ways you can scale that. You can do a pipe push-up, so we're gonna go arms out. Uh, I'm trying to get my head to go at the top here between my two hands, so I'm making a tripod. Okay, so we're going to lower the head down, and then we're going to push back up through the arms here. If that's too easy, pull the hands closer. If those are difficult, you can use a box or something and do them to a box, okay? Um, also, too, if you um, have been practicing getting upside, take this opportunity to, or getting upside down, take this opportunity to do so, okay? So a couple of things if you don't have handstand push-ups yet, you can kick up, make sure that you are pressing through your um, hands the whole time. I've seen that happen a lot where people kick up and they forget and they go down like on their neck. So make sure you're pressing through your hands the whole time. So you can kick up and you can do where you're lowering yourself down. Whatever kind of negative you can put in there, you can do that. Okay, another thing, if you're not ready to lower, you wanna just practice the kick up. Just your feet are on the wall. Once you lower your head down, then you're gonna bring your butt to the wall and drop the knees, okay? And come back down. So those are a couple of options that you can practice where you're still getting upside down and working on that movement, okay? Um, then for your workout today, you guys have three rounds, three five minute am wraps, okay? Um, after each five minute AMRAP, you're gonna rest three minutes. And every time you start your AMRAP, you're gonna start back over with the 15 box jumps. So you have 15 box jumps, 20 sit-ups, and then 10 pull-ups. If you don't have access to a rig to do pull-ups or rings for a ring row, you can scale those doing the towel um, in the door, or you can do like your table pull-ups. So in that movement, you're just going to Sit underneath your table, okay? And then you're gonna to try to get into position where it mimics a strict pull-up as much as possible and pull straight up. 
If your table is a little lower, you can scoot back a little bit and then pull straight up, okay? Um, so yeah, you guys have three rounds of that and wrapping those three movements in a five minute window. Don't forget to rest three minutes and then start all over, okay? A um, couple of quick announcements. Don't forget there's ads at 6 p.m. with Rhonda, Virginia, and Canadian Brit. And then we're going to do our first happy hour tomorrow at 7 p.m. So pour a drink and sign off. We look forward to seeing you guys.